Hey guys, just wanted to make another quick video here. Um, this one will be on the spindle speed control that we sell on the website, smw3d.com. It's not ours, it's just one that we have gone through a lot of different tests with a lot of different speed controls and we're happiest with this one. Uh, you'll find this in our aux kit as well. Um, just a quick review of what this thing does. So basically you'll have your power supply uh, that we discussed in another video, plugs into the wall, has a power output. On this particular unit that I'm putting this on right now is our desktop CNC. It's a 24 volt system. These will handle up to 48 with no problem. I haven't tested over that. I will say that these are advertised elsewhere, and you can actually see the input, as being AC compatible. I haven't had a lot of luck doing that. I don't advise putting AC into this. Um, <clears throat> I've, had, I've had several issues with it. Mainly uh, what I've noticed is that no amperage is really delivered to the spindle. Um, and our spindles are small but they're mean. This will be the uh, 52 millimeter diameter uh, DC 48 volt 300 and 400 watt spindles we sell on the site. They're also what we use on our desktop CNC and the aux kit. Uh, like how small they are, like their weights, that'll be a whole another product video altogether. So <clears throat> For this thing, basically, you want to take the output out of your 24 volt and drop it right into, uh, and they're, mar they're marked here, power in DC motor. This is going to be the power in. This will be for our DC motor. Uh, you will notice another set of connectors here on board. Um, this is for a PWM input. input. Um, if you got something like a tiny G, you'll have a PWM and common sorry these this bar common output. If you if you wire this directly to this, what you can do is through your program in in your uh, cam file, you can set the RPM of the spindle uh, by connecting it right here. What we have to do before that is move this jumper over, though. In this position, it'll take input from this, and in this position, it'll take input from the potentiometer that's on board. So, let me go ahead and hook it up. Basically, I've got my wire from my power supply and my wire from my spindle. Um, something to note about this, and I've gotten, uh, I've received a few emails on it. <clears throat> is is the your spindle the red wire and and black wire are positive and negative uh, you want to or sorry on the board here positive and negative you want to wire this correctly in other words we want positive here negative here positive here negative here if I switch positive and negative the spindle will turn in the opposite direction this won't make any difference um, well yeah I actually I can't think of an end mill that it would make a difference on. Basically it turns the revolution of the spindle in the opposite direction. Um, pretty much all of your flutes will have a direction they need to run and the spindle is wired correctly for that. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and flip the system on and I'm going to check the voltage output. Typically I wire red to be hot or the copper to be hot and uh, yeah, silver uh, looking wire to be the negative so that looks exactly like how it's wired if I would have had it backwards would have had a negative voltage so copper is positive Let me go ahead and power it down the system and we'll wire this up So again, this is my DC input. I want my load positive to be over here. I'm going to go ahead and wire them just like this. Uh, make sure that your connectors are all the way open as well.
There we are. Now, this should be wired up correctly. I personally like using the onboard potentiometer. I'll set a speed and I can fine tune my RPM to match it. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the system on and let's make sure our spindle is turning the right direction. So our spindle is turning the right direction. Now what I can do is adjust my RPM by this potentiometer. You should be able to hear the spindle inside. I can bring this all the way to a complete stop or provide the full 24 volts to the spindle. That's about it guys. Thanks for watching.